Control 4, TV app, audio return channel, and an HD base T matrix? If you're thinking no chance, then think again. More Control 4 system homeowners are wanting to enjoy content not necessarily delivered from their set-top boxes, but rather via apps on their smart TVs, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, Disney Plus, etc, etc, etc. A problem for integrators is how do you handle getting the audio signal back out from the TV, back to the centralized amplifiers in the rack for the ceiling speakers and switched seamlessly in Composer? Well, with a little bit of help from HDNOA's new MHub Pro 2.0 matrices and our new drivers, that's made very easy. Here's how. I'm going to walk you through Control 4, ARC, and how we've made all that magically work with our flagship video matrix systems, MHub Pro 2.0. At the moment, we believe we're the only matrix brand that you can achieve this with Control 4. Let's get this one out of the way first. Yes, right now, C4 doesn't technically support ARC yet because a display cannot be both an output and input simultaneously. Control 4 just isn't made that way. Without giving our secret source away, we have managed to engineer a way in which we can present the audio to C4 as if it was an ordinary audio input. And just like that, we've made the impossible possible. Our latest and greatest software features require our latest and greatest hardware, namely the MHub Pro 2.0. It's important to note that ARC is only supported in our latest range of MHub systems. Once you've got hold of a system, then head over to our control drivers page and download the driver. Before you get stuck in with Composer, you need to ensure that MHub has been first booted and you will need our app, UControl, for that. Why do you need to do that, I hear you say? Well, the reason is that our driver communicates both ways with MHub. Control 4 can send switching control or volume commands to MHub and MHub can report back what the state in each room is back to Control 4. Having this additional data inside Control 4 makes for intelligent automations to be made based on the state of the device reported back in C4. It only takes five minutes to boot up and after that you can forget about your control and any further config on the MHub itself. Now for the fun stuff. Copy the files that you download over to the C4 driver folder and this should automatically add the driver into Composer Pro. Now that your driver is installed, you can set up basic configuration for the MHub to suit your project needs. Our driver supports auto discovery, so once the driver is installed, it should automatically detect the IP address of your MHub. If you have more than one MHub in your project, then you can search for it directly by name or you can fix the IP address yourself. The choice is yours. This isn't a C4 tutorial, so we're assuming that you know how to do the basic stuff. But at this stage, you need to create your system connections. This can be done by dragging source devices to video or audio inputs. After that's done, then repeat the same for any outputs on your MHub. Video output to a display, audio output to AVRs and amplifiers, etc. Another very cool feature within our driver is its ability to act as a control processor. You can use up to 17 IR ports on our top MHub directly from within Composer. And setting that up is exactly the same as all the other connections. Within the driver, you will be presented with all the available IR ports and you can drag and drop them to a source or display. IR commands from within Composer will be sent directly to MHub to replicate for you. No need for additional hardware. We've made ARC available from within the programming area within Composer. Again, we're assuming that you already know the interface, so we'll whiz through this a bit, but it's very simple. We're going to add a button in our room which calls ARC from the display. Go to any room and create a new button screen and we will call this ARC. We then add two custom buttons and name them on and off. Head back to programming and click on device events Custom Buttons, select your room and select ARC screen and you will see the two buttons we just created. Now I'm going to quickly assign an action to this button press and to do that you scroll to the MHub driver and under commands scroll down device specific commands and select the ARC behavior that you want to assign 
to that button press. After that's done, drag it into the scripts pane and you will see your programming there. Then the usual, file, refresh navigators and your controllers will update. Now I've just demonstrated this manual button press to show you how easy it is to request ARC from the display in the room. But in most cases, you would script this behavior and tie it to events like launching Netflix or YouTube, for example, without the need to make an explicit button. We've got source audio coming through on the speakers um, and we're about to start playing a, um, a YouTube clip. And what we're gonna do is activate ARC and then we'll stop hearing the source audio and we should hear uh, the arc audio and that's done as easily as calling that pressing arc on this is boss yes me on this we're in the middle of a weekend adventure with some good mics that's arc on the turn arc off so we're sending arc control to the tv then switching arc and it's literally done in a one button press this is the power of hd anywhere m hub and especially hd anywhere m hub pro 2.0 which, as you've seen, brings the power of I.O. expansion and ARC to your project on top of 18 gigabits per second video distribution with built-in downscaling, audio extraction, and audio matrixing. No other company has products that offer this level of deep integration with Control 4. Make HDA MUP Pro 2.0 your matrix of choice on all your C4 projects. HDA for pros who care.